Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Express Video for All. Today we are going to solve a very important question from module 1, Finite Automata. So the question is, convert the following NFA to its equivalent DFA. This is an NFA given in the question. We have to convert this into equivalent DFA. So our first step is to draw the transition table for NFA. Transition steps input symbol 0 1. So initial state is Q0 with the input symbol 0 is a self loop Q0 with the input symbol 1 it is going to Q0 and Q1. Second state is Q1 with the input symbol 0 it is going to Q2 with the input symbol 1 it is going to Q2. And at the Q2, it does not specify any of the input symbols. So this is the table for the NFA. Now we have to draw the table transition table for the DFA. Transition table for the DFA. Transitions input symbol zero. One initial state is Q0. Q0 then input symbol 0 is a self loop, so Q0. And for the Q0 input symbol 1, there is two states Q0 and Q1. Q0, comma Q1. In this transition table, we have to find the new pairs. Like Q0, comma Q1. This is new pair in this transition table. So we will write it here. Q0, comma Q1. Now we will match both the states with the initial state 0. So at Q0 with the input symbol 0 it is Q0. And at the Q1 with the input symbol 0 it is Q2. So Q0, comma Q2 here. And now the same Q0 with the input symbol 1, Q0 and at the comma Q1. And for the Q, Q, Q1 with the input symbol 1, it is Q2. Q2. Now Q0 is the new symbol, new pair. So we will write it here. Q0, comma Q2. Now it is a Q0 only. Now with the same thing here, Q0, comma Q1. And now this is the new pair. We will write it here. Q0, comma Q1, comma Q2. Now here it will be Q0, comma Q2 only. And here it will be Q0, comma Q1, comma Q2. Now there is no new pair. See here Q0, here Q0 we have written here. Q0, comma Q1, here it is. Q0, comma Q2, here it is. And Q0, comma Q1, comma Q2, here. And all the pairs are repeated. So this is the final tra transition table for the DFA. Now we will let this Q0 equal to A, Q0, comma Q1 equal to B, Q0, comma Q2 equal to C, and Q0, comma Q1, comma Q2 equal to D. Now with the help of this table, we will draw the DFA diagram. So here, initial state will be A with the input symbol 1. Q0 is an A, input symbol 0, it is to self loop. 0 and with the 1, it is Q0, comma Q1. So Q0, comma Q1 is B. So here it will be B with the input symbol 1. Now at the B, with the input symbol 0 is Q0, comma Q2. Q0, comma Q2 is C. So at the input symbol 0, it is C. And for the input symbol 1, it is D. Here it will be D for the 1. And the same C with the input symbol 0 is Q0. So it will be from C to A, 0. And from C to 1, will be B. 
and now from the d with the input symbol 0 is q0 comma q2 q0 comma q2 is c so from here to here and here it is in self loop with the input symbol 1 so now from here we we initialize the dfa diagram with a state now we have to choose the final state here so according to our nfa diagram initial state is q0 so here we will take as a and final state is q2 so the language accepted by this nfa is 1 1 this is the minimum string accepted by this so come here and with the initial state a 1 and 1 d this state will be the final state because it accepting the language of this nfa and one more is there 1 and 0 this to our minimum string accepted by this NFA. So 1 0 is there. According to our DFA diagram, 1 0 C will be there. So there is two final states in this DFA diagram. Thank you for watching our video.